China has just shocked the world with what it's building. But here's what few people are talking about. While Western media stays distracted, China is quietly racing ahead, building a future that looks like science fiction. AI systems that think on their own, machines replacing humans, cities run entirely by algorithms. This isn't fantasy. It's already happening. Because China isn't just building smart cities or flying taxis. It's building something far more powerful, a robotic civilization. And once you see what they have created, it's clear the future isn't coming. It's already here. It starts with something that sounds simple, food delivery. Not long ago, ordering pizza meant waiting half an hour and hoping it stayed warm. China said not anymore. Companies like Muan have created a nationwide network of delivery drones that can bring food in 15 minutes, accurate to the exact minute. These drones have already completed over 300,000 deliveries, enough to feed an entire city. They fly along preset routes and drop packages into smart boxes, no humans needed. In rural areas, JD.com's drones go even further, carrying up to 30 kilograms of cargo to remote villages that never had fast delivery before. It's like having a van in the sky. But food is just the start. This year, 15 million new cars in China will have robot brains that drive themselves. Two out of every three cars sold can drive without human control. The Jue01 is the first car with a true AI brain. It doesn't just drive, it thinks and talks. Drivers can call it by name. Simo, come pick me up. The car will start itself and drive up to two kilometers. The GUA01 has dual NVIDIA orange chips with 508 trillion operations per second, 11 HD cameras, 12 ultrasonic sensors, and five radar systems, more than some military drones. It can park, change lanes, detect lights, and even make unprotected left turns through city traffic. Then comes the Yang Wang U8 from BYD, a physics-defying car. It can perform a full 360 degree tank turn, spin in place, or crab walk sideways into parking spaces. It can even float and drive through water nearly five feet deep. During floods, owners can simply float their way to safety. The IM Motors L6 uses four wheel steering to slide horizontally into tight spaces, reducing parking space needs by 11%. The BYD Z9 GT can even power slide into parallel parking spots, like a drifting racer. China isn't just making smart cars, it's creating supercars that rewrite records. The BYD U9 Extreme Supercar goes from 0 to 100 km per h in 2.36 seconds and recently hit a staggering 496 km per h, making it the fastest production car ever built. What's more incredible is its Duzak system, which can literally dance. The U9 can jump up to 75 millimeters off the ground, hop over obstacles, and move in rhythm with music. Each wheel moves independently in 40 milliseconds, faster than a human blink. Despite its power, the U9 costs about $236,000, less than half the price of a Ferrari. No wonder BYD became the first company to sell 10 million new energy vehicles worldwide. And Chinese drivers are ready. While only 39% of Americans trust self-driving cars, 85% of Chinese people are comfortable letting AI take the wheel. Across 19 cities, China is already testing 16,000 robot taxis on over 32,000 kilometers of dedicated smart roads. That's like circling the entire Earth. Of course, self-driving cars need fast charging. China solved that too. BYD's new ultra-fast batteries deliver 400 kilometers of range with just five minutes of charging. Their one megawatt system is 1,000 times stronger than a phone charger, making it faster to charge an EV than to fill a gas tank. But cars are only part of China's technological leap. The country has also built trains that don't even touch the ground. Using magnetic levitation, or maglev, they float and accelerate to 404 miles per hour in just seven seconds, faster than most planes during takeoff. In tests, some reach 620 miles per hour, faster than commercial jets. That cuts travel time from Beijing to Shanghai in half, from 5.5 hours to just 2.5. What's more surprising is how China is preparing its next generation. 
Starting this year, every child in Beijing as young as six must take AI lessons, eight hours per school year minimum. That's millions of kids learning artificial intelligence before they master multiplication. In 184 pilot schools, students are experimenting with advanced AI systems, robotics, and machine learning. These children will grow up fluent in technology that hasn't even been invented yet. Meanwhile, AI isn't just in school, it's on construction sites. China recently built a highway using 100 autonomous haul trucks, each carrying 85 tons of material with no human drivers. Even in temperatures as low as minus 40 degrees Celsius, they kept going. Entire fleets of self-driving rollers and pavers now build roads guided by GPS and algorithms, creating the infrastructure for future robot traffic. China plans to expand this to 5,000 autonomous trucks nationwide by year's end. At airports, flying feels like stepping into a movie. At 62 airports, over 550 security lanes use facial recognition, eliminating the need for tickets or IDs. At Shanghai Hongqiao Airport, check-in, security and boarding take only 12 seconds. Beijing's main airport has 600 facial scanners, 250 automated gates and 80 self-service stations. Cameras recognize passengers instantly. And beyond airports, those cameras are everywhere. China has over 200 million surveillance cameras, four times the United States. This massive Skynet system can identify jaywalkers, detect maskless faces, and even predict crimes. Police wear AI-powered helmets that scan crowds in real time, finding wanted criminals in seconds. Payments have gone beyond phones and cards. In China, millions now pay using only their palms. Tencent's WeChat Palm Pay scans the lines and veins of a person's hand, more accurate than fingerprints and nearly impossible to fake. Over 1,500 stores already accept it, and students use it in schools, travelers in stations, and shoppers everywhere. But the rise of AI doesn't stop at convenience. It's changing the workforce itself. Meet Unitree's G1 robot, a humanoid the size of a 10-year-old child with 23 joints that move just like human muscles. It can walk, run, jump, balance, shake hands, and even dance. It performs kung fu routines and follows custom choreography, yet costs only $16,000. Compared to the other humanoid robots costing hundreds of thousands, it's a breakthrough. There's also the go-to robot dog. Weighing 15 kilograms, it runs at 11 miles per hour, walks upside down, does backflips, and takes voice commands powered by GPT Tech. With 4D LiDAR vision, it sees in 360 degrees with zero blind spots. The GoTo Pro version can jog beside its owner, avoiding obstacles in real time. At the 19th Asian Games, robot dogs were already working on the field, delivering discuses and javelins. Police and military units are now adopting them for operations. Then comes X-Robots, a company producing androids that look fully human. Their machines have lifelike skin, blinking eyes, and realistic expressions. Each robot has 140 movement points on its face and body. Building one takes a month and costs around $280,000. The company has already made over 200 humanoids, producing 500 more each year. In museums, hotels, and schools across China, androids modeled after Einstein and Hawking speak and move like the real people once did. They even opened China's first robot museum, filled with robotic historical figures. In hospitals, robots are saving lives. AI systems can now locate veins and draw blood more accurately than human nurses. Medication delivery robots navigate hospital corridors on their own, dropping off prescriptions to patients in minutes. And surgeons in Xinjiang have performed remote operations from cities thousands of kilometers away. But the most advanced creation yet is Dr. Alfred, a lifelike robot doctor that speaks multiple languages and diagnoses patients with 93% accuracy. 
China even opened the world's first AI hospital, staffed by 14 robot doctors and four robot nurses, capable of treating 3,000 patients a day. Even farming has become robotic. The DJI Agras T100 drone carries 100 kilograms of seeds or pesticides, spraying crops day and night using smart sensors. The 108-arm cotton robot trims crops 120 times faster than humans, working on up to 40 hectares daily. And GPS-guided transplanters now plant entire fields automatically, doing the work of a hundred farmers in one day. Every sector in China, from cars to healthcare, from farming to construction, is powered by AI. While the world debates the risks of automation, China is busy building the future itself, Machines are learning, robots are rising, and algorithms are running entire systems faster than humans ever could. This isn't the story of tomorrow, it's the story of now. China isn't waiting for the future, it's building it. And the question that remains is simple, yet unsettling. When this technology spreads worldwide, will the world be ready for a future where cameras see everything? Machines think independently, and robots walk among us.